Uh, I'd just like to introduce us. We are the Willy Wagtails, um, and we're touring throughout the Yarra Valley this long weekend on bicycles. So this weekend we toured around, I think we did eight shows all by bike. It's probably been almost 100 k's with the double bass on a trailer and all the other instruments on trailers. So I kind of thought like it would be a real great novelty to do a tour by bikes and I also thought that it would be really fun. There was doubts uh, leading up to it, uh, carting something as big as a double bass on a trailer that's, you know, ideally light, so therefore quite flexible, maybe vulnerable. You know, you don't want everything to go right. Or there'd be no, there'd be no reason to do anything. Right out from Mount Evelyn. They were all excited, all super pumped. And then sure enough, once we're all once we're all aligned in this perfect you know shot, the trailer breaks. When I was a boy, me mum made soup. I just got off my bike and looked at the trailer and all my worst fears had come true. Kind of scratching our heads, stopped on the side of the road, what to do. Drone's still buzzing in the air. So those guys did the gig without me. Yeah, we headed to Montalancy without Jerry. Jerry um, fixed up the trailer. I had about one hour to um, do some kind of, you know, like serious metal work. It's held out, so that's good. They did fine without me. The storm was very funny. I think it's just going to pass overhead. We know about the forecast. We're just kind of hoping that it wouldn't really hit us. Some grew up in houses, and some grew up in houses. Oscar, you're in a, a waterfall. Curtis, what are you doing? Oh, that's, that's a beautiful day for it. Beautiful day out here. Willy Wagtail touring, bike touring. Oh, it's lovely. Fucking A. I'm, I'm very glad we were wearing helmets because one hit me very hard on the head. Yeah, well, there were big enough chunks of ice they would actually hurt <laughs> when they hit you. And uh, there was quite a lot of it hitting you in the rain while you're pulling five or six instruments in a trailer on a bike after having done two or three gigs that day. But that wasn't what was bad. <laughs> What was bad was then being drenched. We got to this anarchist camp out at Yarra Junction at Camp Eureka and uh, the power was out. And both Oscar and Curtis uh, had canvas bags. My, my clothes are just dry now. It's been two days. And we had a party. And they were the most enthusiastic audience of the whole trip. Lots of energy, lots of people dancing. And we weren't even playing. They were dancing before we even started playing. Just the thought of it made their feet tap. In the summer I swam in the ocean 
That made me think that if we can get through this one, like we can probably do this just about anywhere we go because it's, the conditions are not going to get any worse. I feel like over this weekend we've really kind of just found our comfort zones. We've found how we work together more than ever. And it's been a beautiful experience to do that while getting out, you know, enjoying the outdoors together, um, you know, having a laugh. It's like a combination of two good things, music and exercise. Look, sometimes really bad situations are the best. I love my bandmates. I love uh, I love the music we play, and who knows? Maybe we'll have a new album by the time we do this again. So here's hoping.